Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's going to be a different vlog style. Um, I'm going to go to my first estate sale in Denver, which I'm really excited about. I haven't been to one here. There's one that says it's a time capsule and it looks like it's got some really good Christmas stuff. Um, not that I need any more Christmas decorations, but they're there. Um, and it also looks like there's some cool decor that might go nicely. Um, I'm looking for art. I'm also looking for some napkins, like cloth napkins, and I'd much rather buy them secondhand than firsthand. Um, so anyway, and we went out to celebrate um, a birthday last night, and I should be working on my bathroom renovation, like update, whatever, but I'm tired, and I want to go do something fun. I don't, I don't want to work. So I thought you guys could come along with me and we see what kind of treasures that we have. So let's do it. It was hard to find a spot, so let's see what treasures we find, if any. I got here a little bit later, so I'm hoping that the first round kind of fades out and then it'll be less crowded. I didn't get here right at nine when it opened, which I think today's the first day of the sale, so we'll see. things to note one today was the first day and it still already seemed picked over it started at 10 a.m. it's 10 36 it already feels picked over so I think people here in Denver are very much um, into estate sales which is good to know um, two that it was a bust I didn't find anything but I'm also being very picky about what it is I'm buying um, so I didn't expect to find a lot, but they had some good furniture pieces in there. I really liked that dresser, but it was missing a back. There was another little nightstand that would look really good in my guest room, but like it was short. So I kind of feel like it may not have worked. Um, and the wood color was really dark for the furniture that's in there. And I think everything was well priced for the most part. Um, and yeah, so there was definitely like things that I would have bought maybe if i needed it and wasn't like being super picky but also it was so picked over i can't imagine what's going to be left tomorrow now this might have been a smaller one i'm not really sure but um i just don't know it's a small house but it still had a full basement so it's kind of weird but um yeah uh so there's that also there's no signage anywhere there, like the only sign that you knew that you were at the right house was that they stuck a piece of contact paper or um, construction paper on the back of their car that said a state sale. That was it. No yard signs, no nothing, which is a vast difference from Atlanta. I feel like you see them, the estate sales signs everywhere. So anyway, I mean, I didn't have, I like, it was a good estate sale. Like it did say like time capsule and it definitely was a time capsule, but I'm not sure it was the time capsule in the right way. Like, it wasn't like super good stuff. I mean, there were some gems. And also, I don't know what was here at 10 in the morning. But I'm not the type of person who's going to fight in line, fight to get in line so that I can be the first person in. Like, there's nothing I need that's that bad. So, anyway. So, kind of a bust. But my first one, which, you know, you got to learn the lay of the land in the new city. Um, and you have to bring your own bags, which I know in 
in Denver, you do have to bring your own bags pretty much any, everywhere, but I didn't realize you had to bring your own bags even to an estate sale, which makes sense because in Atlanta, they normally just give you the extra bags they have, like, that they've gotten together. So, not really sure. So, anyway, I'm going to run to Home Goods and World Market real quick, and then I'm going to get home and and like get a couple of other things done, but I need to get some things. I was gonna look for some stuff. So since this was such a bust, I figure we'll just go do some more fun things and go shopping. So anyway, off to the next. Look at all the Christmas stuff. Holy Hannah. Bananas. Garland's cute. This is overwhelming. Oh, that's pretty. So much stuff. Wait, they're just bursting at the seams with everything. Oof. This is also kind of cool. I like the color. Oh, I like that. That's really nice. I really like these William Morris prints in the fun frames. That would be perfect for a nail slot, but the it is really red. Does that show it on the camera? Look at how cute this little golden is. And the Santa Nutcracker is cute too. They always have the prettiest glass ornaments. But I don't even know what I need for Christmas this year. Those are interesting. I love these style of games. They used to have them at Anthropology. Now they're here. These are pretty. Oh, I love those. That was so overwhelming. There was so much product in there. I know they're getting ready for Christmas, but like, it was hard to shop. There was so much in there. So, and I did not find any green napkins or countertop or stovetop cleaner which is weird so we're gonna go to world market and look for stuff there see what they've got they always have the coolest mirrors i saw one not long ago that i wanted for our half bath they always have beautiful garlic like this one is so pretty and it's reasonably affordable. It's only 35 bucks, which if you know how expensive Carlin is, you know. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Okay, so I'm home and my shopping trip was such a bust. Um, I didn't buy anything. Nothing at World Market, nothing at Home Goods, nothing at the estate sale. I don't know. It's just, I was talking with my friend the other day about, you know, the fact that I'm not like buying as much recently and that I just feel overwhelmed when I go shopping and I feel like there's just like so much like wanting to buy, th like so much in like social media and online to like buy things and consumerism and like I'm just I'm just not doing it um and or I'm not seeing things that are like worth the money to buy or that I feel like I need like I used to impulse buy a lot and now I don't feel like I do that at all really which is good it saves me money it's better for the environment like there's a lot of things about it so anyway I still like to go look like I think what I enjoy is um the I enjoy the fact that Melman's here. <laughs> Just got here. I enjoy the hunt to try and find something unique, but um, I'm definitely being picky 
more so than I think I ever have been before, which is okay. Like, even I was looking for table, uh, like, linen napkins, and they had some at World Market, but I just didn't like the colors. And they didn't have any at Home Goods, which I'm like, that, that were the right color. So they didn't even have green. They just had white and, and mustard. So anyway, this might have been a very boring blog, vlog, whatever. Um, but I'm working on a bigger project. So, uh, you know, I just needed an escape from that today and uh, just wanted to go do something fun. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, sorry I don't have a haul for you, but also like, you know, it is what it is. So um, I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.